could we combine um, anti-PD-1 therapies or checkpoint uh, immune checkpoint inhibitors with anti-angiogenesis agents, since that's al also active in cervix, come up with a uh, pure biologic uh, treatment for recurrent cervical cancer where patients don't have to go through you know round after round of cisplatin, which we know is active, but it's not easy to give and patients don't like it. So that's, that's the excitement in that field. There's even some talk about moving the immune checkpoint inhibitors up front in pre-invasive disease. Um, you know, could you, uh, if you have a patient with CIN3 or even carcinoma in situ and give them, you know, one or two cycles of this, would that save them from a colonization? Would that save them from even hysterectomy? Um, the challenges there, of course, this is still a curable population. We don't want to mess around with it. We don't want to do the wrong thing. And two, um, you know, a shot of Pembro is a, probably $15,000, so the whole proposition is a bit, a bit uh, expensive.